Welcome to a new video from our blog. In today's video, we're going to be discussing or talking about the structural approach. But probably you're wondering what's the structural approach. And this is an approach which views the language learning as the learning of a set of habits. And the focus of the language teaching in the structural approach is on speech. And also it's important to mention that the structural approach uh, is not considered by many people and teachers as a real method, but uh, they consider it as, a, as an approach, basically. And also in the, in the implementation of this approach can be used correlated with another method, such as grammar translation method. For you to understand it, you need to watch our other video, you can find it on the blog, and it's called uh, the Grammar Translation Method video, so I, re I recommend you to watch it. To continue with explanation and also to be able to understand the topic, we need to talk about the principles of the structural approach. The first of them is the forming language habit, that's the first principle. And it means that the structural approach gives so much importance to the forming of the language habit. The learners uh, should acquire the habit of arranging words in English standard sentence patterns um, using language drills. When I say language drills are techniques uh, that consist on the teacher modeling a word or sentence and the students uh, repeating after him. That's, uh, that, those are language drills. And the second principle is the importance of speech. It means that the structural approach regards speech as more important that reading and writing. Um, speech is the necessary means of fixing uh, firmly all groundwork. And finally, the last one and the third one is the importance of learners' activities. Uh, it means that the structural approach puts more emphasis on the pupils or students activity than on the teachers because uh, the children or the students are the ones that are learning right so they must be actively involved in the teaching learning process and those are the principles of the structural approach but how we put it in practice? Well, it uses gradation, which means that here the purpose is to arrange topics according to their usability and also grading from the easier and the most usable structures before the difficult and less usable ones. So, for to organize it, um, it takes into consideration aspects like usefulness, simplicity, teachability, productivity, and area of difference. But can we really difference between structural approach and other methods or techniques? The answer to that question is yes. Of course we can do it. That's why I'm gonna present you three main characteristics of a structural approach. The first one is that language is taught in meaningful situation. It means that this method or technique is related to the situational teaching. The second characteristic is that the topics or materials are carefully selected and rated. As I told you before, every single topic is structured and graded based on their difficulty from the easier and most usable 
to the most difficult and the the useless structures or topics and finally the third one and the last characteristic is that it creates the interest and motivation on the student that's because when the student receives the information at the correct moment uh, it becomes into learning and that's when the student uh, get the interest because it catch his attention and at the same time he or she is motivated to continue in the process and those are some methods or some clues that you can use to identify the structural approach from the other methods or techniques